like the ability to pull myself out and become someone else. If I'm thinking about cooking dinner, that's what you're gonna see on my face. I don't care what kind of dance I'm doing. But I'm not allowed. So you're, not, you're not allowed? I realize how I have been hiding behind my mask face because it's not only survival for me, but it's survival for my kids. Find a way to channel my frustration into this pasta doble. This could totally be my dance. Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's Wednesday, September 7th. And guess who's coming back to reality television? Kate. Kate Gosselin is returning. And guess who she's joining? Jamie Lynn Spears? This is wild. Unbelievable. Unexpected. And something I don't know if I'm going to watch. But I wanted to talk to you guys about it because some of you love to hate her. And a lot of you have been talking to me about Britney Spears and everything that's been going on with Britney and her family. And I've been sharing that kind of uh, the news and the updates on my Instagram and Facebook. When I talk about Britney over here, not my audience here is not as engaged. I definitely care about the Britney Spears situation. But my audiences over on Instagram and Facebook are more apt to interact with that kind of content. If you want that kind of content here, I can try again. Those videos just really don't do very well. And a lot of you are just like, every other outlet covers her, why bother? You know, I don't know. I have my opinions, but Jamie Lynn Spears and Kate Gosselin on the same reality show was not on my bingo card this year, okay? Before we do anything, can you do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed. Turn your notifications on so you do not know, do not miss a video when I post and leave some comments on your thoughts of this video. Okay, so Kate hasn't been on TV since 2019 when she did her final update before the daughters, the two, the twins, went off to start college. Their sort of update was her taking the kids to different colleges to tour before they ended up picking schools. And we all know they're now at two large universities in New York, both Maddie and Kara are. We know that since 2019, she has moved from Pennsylvania and has returned to work as a nurse. But apparently that work as a nurse wasn't paying the bills and Kate has gone back to reality TV fame to star in a new series that will be on Fox and air in January of 2023. And she was filming this summer, which is interesting because this summer is when John Gosselin had accused Kate of stealing over $100,000 from his children and their trust accounts for their time on reality television. She clapped back by saying that John owed her almost $145,000 or $150,000 in back child support, a claim that John refuted. But it wasn't Kate that responded to those allegations. It was her attorney. And it could have been because Kate wasn't around to respond. She might have been over in Jordan filming. Okay, so this one is a wild one, but Deadline and Fox have announced that a show called Special Forces, The Ultimate Test with Anthony Scaramucci, Jamie Lynn Spears, Mel B, and Kate Gosselin is set to come to Fox for an endurance series. So it's ordered this, it's called Special Forces, The Ultimate Test. And it's based on the British format with a short live um, with the communications chief at Anthony uh, Scaramucci, Jamie Lynn Spears, Spice Girl Mel B, and Kate Gosselin. It will see celebs endure harsh and grueling challenges from playbooks of the actual Special Forces selections process led by directing staff agents Rudy Reyes, Mark Billy Billingham, and Jason Foxy Fox, and Remy Adelke, who, com who comprise an elite team of special ex of ex Special Force operatives. It's based on a British show for SAS Who Dares to Win. Okay, so other people that will be on the show with her are Hannah Brown from The Bachelor, uh, a Bachelorette, uh, Tyler For Florence, who is a 
celebrity chef, a veteran from the NBA, Dwight Howard, Montel Jordan, remember, this is how we do it, uh, a, a skier, Gus Kenworthy, a gymnast, Natasia Lucan, uh, and a former uh, soccer player, Carly Lloyd, actress Beverly Mitchell, and Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kenya Moore, and then um, Baseball's Hall of Famer, Mike Piazza, and medical broadcaster, Dr. Drew Pinsky. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Okay, so Kate's gonna be with Pins Dr. Drew and Mel B and Jamie Lynn Spears. Okay, so according to Fox, there will be no votes and no eliminations, just survival. And it says these celebrity celebrities who are used to being in the spotlight quickly learn the meaning of no guts, no glory, and no glam. It debuts on January of 2023, and it was filmed in Jordan over the summer. It's produced by Minnow Films, the British production company that did the C4 series. So this is what uh, it says is, Special Forces, the ultimate test, puts celebrities you know and love through the most pure and authentic test of endurance that I've ever seen in many ways. It is more about mental strength than physical strength. And that's the president of Alternative Entertainment and Specials. And it says it's an eye-opening glimpse into the most intense training in the world and gives a taste of the grit and bravery our armed forces show on a daily basis, which has life-changing experiences for these celebrities. So basically, they have to go out and survive in a special op. It sounds like they might be out in the wilderness while they're doing this. Survival. Kate, Gl Kate Gosselin is notorious for being kind of high maintenance, uh, definitely not liking to get dirty, not liking to put in the grit. I mean, this is a woman that was on Dancing with the Stars and terrible, not the most athletic either. Definitely used to being catered to and prim and proper and looking a certain way. Although as of late, she hasn't looked super prim and proper. And I don't know how long the series is going to last, like how many episodes it will be. It's They're wearing fatigues in the picture it's a big cast. I was kind of shocked by this. Kate being in this is like what I think it's 16 celebrities. And I think I'll be interested to see how Kate gets along with others. I'm also going to be interested to see how Jamie Lynn Spears gets along with other people. Jamie Lynn has been in hot water. She kind of capitalized on her sister's situation by writing a autobiography memoir of her childhood and life growing up in the sort of shadows of Britney Spears within a year of Britney actually getting out of her conservatorship. She's not the most favorite person on the internet these days, but neither is Kate Gosselin. And Kate hasn't been on TV since 2019. It seems like Kate's celebrity as celebrity mom and celebrity like family lady has left the building. Like she can't market herself as mom anymore because the kids are not on TV. Actually, they just turned 18. So if they wanted to, they could actually go on to television now, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. So she has been forced to do like an adventure type uh, endurance, the challenge, no eliminations, which makes me wonder like, what's the goal? What's the motive? Like, what's the payoff here? What, what are they going to learn out of this? If they're not getting eliminated, if they're not winning, they just have to survive. Does this mean that some of them will ultimately quit? I could see Kate quitting like within the first few days. I couldn't, I can definitely, I mean, Mel B, I think she's like badass and I think she could go on for like eight years. I mean, she's a Spice Girl. And as much as I don't like Jamie Lynn Spears, uh, she grew up in the South and she's like one of those girls that like is for my, she's like a tomboy. So I kind of imagine that she might actually be decent with this. She's pretty athletic too. I don't know. I feel like Jamie Lynn Spears would be better suited for this than Kate Gosselin. But like, what is going on in your life that you're like, I'm going to join an ultimate survival show on uh, Fox. I hope they're paid well. Is this like because Kate needs to pay some bills? And do you think that secretly John is annoyed that Kate's going to be back on reality television? Oh, remember how bad she was and how complainy and whiny she was when she was on Dancing with the Stars? I would only tune into this just to see her complain. She was also pretty complainy when she was on The Apprentice. Is addicted to reality television. It's obvious. 
Her name draws attention and I just want to know if you would watch this show and if this show even sounds interesting. I feel like we've seen a lot of these kinds of shows before. I don't know that it's anything new. Even though they claim it is, it doesn't sound earth shattering or groundbreaking to me. But uh, it'd be, I don't know. I'm like lukewarm. What do you think? Do you think John is like flipping out somewhere about this and he's like, oh, now she can pay me back? Or do you think that this is her trying to get back into reality television and thinks this is going to be like her next big break? Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye, guys.